All right, well, we're all on the side of the road. Don't eat that on camera for these savages. Oh, God. I mean, beggars can't be choosers. What's up, Weirdo Shades researching here on the newly minted 1250cc Buell Heads Dirtster, baby. Don't pay attention to that guy right there. Read the fine print. <laughs> Man, I like this bike. Everybody has their own idea of what a break-in should entail, but for me, uh, the way I've done it with every other motor I've rebuilt, which has been mainly two strokes, I've had the top ends off of other vehicles before, namely my XS650, but my break-in is always just, oh, as I see a cop, I realize I don't have a tag. Let me go get that. I keep forgetting to put the tag back on this thing. It's like the only vehicle I have that's actually, I'm not riding dirty on, okay? I, just something in my blood says I can't ever quite follow the law. Gotta be just a little left to center, if you know what I mean. Left to center, south of heaven, take your pick, baby. The centers have more fun. Well, wonders never cease. Shade Tree Surgeon is officially riding clean. Oh, well, sort of clean. It still has, like, no blinkers and... <laughs> well, I got a horn now. So at least there's that. I don't think you actually need blinkers in Florida anyway. Nobody else uses them. Oh, I ain't about to start. Oh, I was officially already about negative five minutes early. And now I'm about negative 15 minutes early, but that's okay. A wizard is never late anyway. He arrives exactly when he intends to. People like to say I'm never on time, but I always just tell them, listen up, baby. Time is a human construct. Time is an invention of man. Shade Tree Surgeon, <laughs> listen up. Shade Tree Surgeon answers to a higher power. Howdy, y'all. See, I got a Buell now, too. <laughs> Just says Harley on it. <laughs> yeah, not really. Just heads. Here's the real test. Bueller 1203 himself. That's the real test if you put your engine together right. <laughs> oh. Hell yeah, it's tall. And I've written it on the channel before, but Jack's regular ride is a Buell Ulysses, of course. And we got Skittles, we got Vices of a Viking. We got the whole freaking crew out, man. We haven't seen Alec in forever. We got Brant, I like the way you do business, bud. <laughs> What's the verdict, bud? This is cool. Thank you. I believe in you. I think you can do everything. I know, I just can't get over the dip. But at the, at the end of the day, can't make up for height. All right. <laughs> there we go. That's a big bike, dude. I think you're tough as hell for riding that thing. Four foot 11? Come on, dude. Give her a break. We have a solution to this. Your, your finger. You, you need some Odins, man. I promise you. I got pissed off because it went I pulled it off. I'm saying, man, we, there's there's a better way. Rolling out, we got, of course, Bueller, my man, Brant, Blue Friend over there, Skittles, McDiddles, Alec, aka No Moving Parts, Vices of a Biking, The Fox Glove, and Jenna Resin, baby, out here looking stunning on the bright yellow banana. Oh, I love this. Everything and everything in between. We got Yamaha, Harley Davidson, BMW. W, Buell. I mean, I guess not everything, but so it's pretty, so pretty cool. It is actually a pretty special day. We're all heading out to Forgotten Angels because David and Cindy from Forgotten Angels are putting together uh, a little something cool. We're going to take some pictures, film a little video. It's actually not my videos. It's going to be David and Cindy's video, but David's got a big surprise, uh, an amazing piece of art, this, this poetry that he has written that he wants to put some video to, to kind of a, an ode to motorcycles and also an ode to everybody who's helped out there. I wish Wish everybody from the camp out could be there but maybe we'll do a second video and just get everybody from the camp out there because like i said we're all sinners we're all bad people <laughs> we just try to do a good thing every once in a while and david from forgotten angels he sure makes doing a good thing a lot easier man he's a he's a he's a conduit for us sinners for us bad people to do some good things every once in a while you guys don't know what forgotten angels is it is a charity run by david and cindy who we raise money for all the time well, when I say we, I'm using the royal we. I mean, all of us, you guys watching these videos right now. What they do at Forgotten Angels is they build tiny homes. They build houses for young men who have aged out of the foster care system. And they don't only do that, they help them become men. They help them become productive members of society. They become the parents and the support system that their blood relatives never were. They pick up the slack 
where the system has completely failed these young men and left them to fall through the cracks, become victims of drug abuse, become homeless, just absolutely become wastes in this world. And they take these young men, these guys who never even got their first chance, and they give them their first chance. It ain't a second chance, it's the first chance they ever got. A second chance implies that they failed their first chance. This is their first chance they ever even got in this world. All you guys who have been to the Forgotten Angels Weirdo Campouts, you know that we hold them twice a year, once in October, once in March, and March is coming up, baby. It's gonna be St. Patrick's Day weekend, March 18th, but it's gonna start this Thursday before that. So starting March 16th and going all the way to March 19th, that's Thursday through Sunday, I want you to ride your motorcycle down to the way. I want you to come here and drink beers with me. Drink beers with me and all the other weirdos, all the people that you see in these videos. These are my real life friends. These are people I love, people I call brother, people I call sister, people who have been the family that I chose, not the family that was given to me. And it's an amazing thing. I say it all the time, people who come down here, dude, you come down, you, you sit down with us and you sleep on that ground and you drink beers and you see what we're all about here at Forgotten Angels. All of a sudden, guess what, baby? You're family too. We have people come from not only all over the country, but all over the world. We have people who ride their motorcycles down from Portland to Oregon. We have people who ride down from up north, out west, just everywhere in between. They come down here because they know that when they freaking roll onto that property and they see that sign that says welcome home and they mean it dude and it's an amazing thing we have people who've made every single camp out because they won't miss it i promise you it's free food it's free beer it's free camping this doesn't cost you a dime if you want to donate some money that's awesome but you don't have to. You don't have to spend a single dime to come to this. All you gotta do is get your butt here, we'll feed you, we'll get you drunk, and we'll let you camp for free, and we'll send you packing home with a hangover. It's an absolutely amazing time, and I freaking hang out the entire weekend. We got music, we got games, we got prizes, and like I said, it don't cost you a dime. We're gonna keep this thing free for as long as we can. 3604 Little Stearns Road. Just make sure you're going 15 miles an hour when you come down this one. All right, there's kids playing out here. I don't care if you ride your bike down. That's awesome if you do. If you ride your bike down with a tent on the back, I don't care if you stay in the hotel room if you don't like camping. I don't care if you drive your car down and sleep in the front seat. I don't care if you fly down. I don't care if you trail your bike down. All I want you to do is come out here, see that welcome home sign, drive in between these two lakes, and come hang out with us. There's no judgment. Nobody's gonna look at you funny because you didn't ride down. Nobody's gonna look at you funny because what you ride, what you look like, it doesn't matter. Out here, we're all family, and you can believe that. Get it on camera. I do. I don't bother you at all. <laughs> yeah. No, they don't. And here we are. This is what it's all about. This is what brings everyone together here to do something good. To do something for somebody who got less than you. Or maybe for do something for somebody who got the same as you. Maybe they got the same as you. And you managed to pull yourself up. And so now you get to come out here. And you know what it's like to have to pull yourself up and you can help pull somebody else up. All right, we're all here hanging out. And I always wonder, you ever go to the gas station, you wonder who buys those bananas in the oh, basket? Who yeah. buys what freaking alien, what space creature, what skinwalker masquerading as a regular human being buys the single bananas? <laughs> 
fit story. Yeah, don't need that on camera for these savages. No. <laughs> That was cool, I saw you ride from the top of the window. Waddling? <laughs> Okay, they just came back and uh, <laughs> Fox Club ran out of gas <laughs> to the rescue. I'm gonna stay here and drink beer. You guys have fun. Why would you go get gas? You already have it. Rolling here from Forgotten Angels after doing some really good video and having some awesome times with the people I love. And also spend a little time with my shovel head, man. I miss that thing. Uh, don't worry. The shovel is coming back. Oh, I like this. It's me, Fox Glove, and Skittles, dude. I'm taking all the girdles with me. No freaking Skittles with that brand new Lowrider ST. I don't know what color that is called, but it looks like paper white. What a great looking bike. Good for her. And of course, Fox Gloves, four foot 11, 90 pound ass on that Yamaha Striker. Good for you too, baby. What a great day. A great day spent amongst my friends, spent amongst the people who are bad people who are helping me do good things. Because trust me, I couldn't do things all by myself. I couldn't do these good things all by myself. That is absolutely not a possibility. I need good people in my corner. And today was spent amongst them and it feels so good. Oh, I just realized we lost Shelly. Ran out of gas? You go back, I'm gonna go get gas. Oh, poor Shelly ran out of gas. Luckily, I have a gas can that hopefully will not get set on fire on the Sportster. Also, I could use a snack. I mean, she's out of gas. She ain't going nowhere, so I might as well grab some beer and a snack. I mean, she's probably gonna want some beer after this, so I might as well pick something out. I mean, it's only polite of me. Baja Blast, Hard Mountain Dew. She'll definitely need one of these. One of these too. Dude, I'm looking out for Shelly, dude. I'm a good friend. I'm just saying, I'm not trying to brag or nothing. I'm not really kind of bragging kind of guy, but dude, two different kinds of Hard Mountain Dew and a 12 pack of Bill Light shit. And I'm giving you gas. I'm coming, Fox Glove. Eventually, I promise, eventually I'm coming. Just gotta get the supplies first. Oh no, I need that. Oh, God damn it. All right, we got this now. Okay, all right, chill, chill chill rescue mission is a go hard mountain dew gasoline and miller light all a growing girl needs rescue mission is a go right turn only come on now uh, we don't know where the fox love is at but i'm just gonna go ahead and guess and cross my fingers but that's pretty much how i live my life anyway so you're in my world now fox glove it's all it's all about guessing and crossing your fingers it's gonna be just fine i promise always works out for me anyway yeah there she is i can give her a wave <laughs> they went... <laughs> see us i fucking found them the lean angle on this bike is just nuts and now it's got the power to match i don't know if that's a good thing where are the girls at? I'm like a bloodhound with this. I can always find the ladies. God, this is wild, man. This thing would barely do 70 before. Now I'm just like twisting it half throttle and just doing 75, 80, 80 miles an hour. That's kind of scary. There they are. Here I am to save the day. <laughs> Well, don't worry, little lady. I might not have what you want, but I got what you need. Artisanal gas? Yes, it's artisanal. It's very special. I'd only, I'd only, I'd only, it's going back to the earth, to the dinosaurs. It's not a big deal. I'd only use this on you. I mean, beggars can't be choosers, but uh, she might choose something else besides me literally dousing the entire motorcycle on gasoline. All right, didn't get much on there, I don't think. That's for you. I figured you want a good time after that, 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 what happened, you know? All right, let's roll. I saved the day. I want everyone to know that at home right now. I saved the day. You know, I don't want to just like throw around the word hero. Like it's like not a big deal or anything. I don't want to cheapen the word hero, but right now I would say it's applicable. Like it just is, okay? Hero, ugh, feels just as good as I thought it would. I love where I live. 
I love the people I call friend. Life ain't bad. Life ain't bad at all. On wings of gold, baby. I thought last one would be the very last time, but uh, no one's won it yet. There's still a few tickets left. Not a whole lot of tickets left for Mike Branch's gold wing. Uncle Bo Gator's bo gold wing. Sorry, that's uh, we're going through a brand change, which I support, man. I like Uncle Bo Gator. Still a couple tickets left for that. I don't know who's going to win it, but like I said, I hope whoever does win it chooses to come to the Forgotten Angels camp out. Just wait. So I'm set in his garage. Wait. Fly down here for the Forgotten Angels camp out and then ride back home. Anyway, we got to hang out today because Jaleesi's back on her second ride, but her first official actual bonus doctor sanctioned ride. I'm a doctor and I said she was fine, but now some doctor who only does bones, they could call me a bone doctor, baby. <laughs> I'll put that hoodoo on your old lady, man. You watch out. We didn't get to ride yesterday at Forgotten Angels with my man Diplomat or Mike Branch because they're busy working. We can't leave them out, dude. They're a part of this. So we said, hey, we're just going to do it today. Dude, I love that. That makes you Uncle Grandpa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uncle Grandpa. Uncle Grandpa Bogator. And all this on wings of gold business. Let's see if the gold ring actually starts. Oh, Shaylisi's first time back on her Sportster since she broke her wrist. She's got to be stoked. Working that clutch with that broken wrist, you're going to get real good at putting it in neutral. <laughs> uh, I know the camp out is still two months away, but I'm just getting so freaking stoked for it. I'm so excited for everybody to come hang out. It's like, uh, all my friends are coming back to the way. Everybody's coming back down to be a dirty hobo swamp wizards for a weekend. You know, we do the dirty hobo swamp wizard thing here in the Wang year round. Uh, for most people, just a couple weekends a year is enough, and I don't blame you. Anything more than that, you're liable to develop an addiction. Shaylee, she's got to be stoked getting back on that sportster you guys know how it is recovering from an injury or having to sit through a winter that first ride back always hits just a little bit different yeah it's nice to have old danger girl back on willem defoe's the green goblin it's like she got that bike done just in time for her to break her arm <laughs> it's always something with that bike man i wouldn't say it's cursed i just say it's got a lot of character if you know what i mean and of course now that willem defoe's the green goblin is up and running it's pretty much what we would call Done. Now that I just put a 1250 hooligan kit on my Sportster, Shaylisi's making noise about getting one for Willem Dafoe. So we'll see how long that bike stays together, even though it's done. Asking when a Harley Davidson Sportster is done being modified, <sighs> that's like asking how long a piece of string is. As the rosary is my social media. Don't understand. I don't get it. Is that where you go to check and see how all your friends are doing who don't live here? <laughs> that seems like a weird way to keep in contact with them. I mean, maybe like your friends who are dead. Like surely, like I get the like praying as a way to stay connected to people in heaven if you believe in heaven. But what, what about the people who are alive? That's a place we've never, I mean, Maybe I did a video here at some point. I really can't remember. We've eaten at a lot of restaurants and been to a lot of bars in Tampa. I can't remember if we've ever done dads, but baby, you don't have to twist my arm that hard to eat at dads. The last time you came to dads, it's because you were playing Pokemon Go on your motorcycle. Is that why you dropped it? No, it's a separate time. Oh, okay, okay. Separate dads experiences, okay. O'Shea goes, what are those made of? What is your bread? It looks like a fish fillet. It does look like a fish fillet, and actually that would be good too. I'd totally take a fish fillet sandwich with a fish fillet as the bread. This is actually Damn. deep fried mac and cheese. That's amazing. Yeah, jealous? It's okay. It. Yeah. I want to yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want that piece? Here. She said, yo, what's up? <laughs> Was it delicious? <laughs> Bogator got the freaking donut fried chicken. Good good have good size meals. <laughs> <laughs> what's the verdict? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Dude, I am full of cheese and bread and fried stuff, and I should not have eaten any of that, but I went ahead and did it anyway. And our waitress was so pleasant. And I always want to ask people their Instagrams when I'm so I can shout it out. So I'm like, oh, you're so cool. Let me tell everybody who's watching your Instagram. But then if I try to ask a waitress her Instagram, I feel like a creep, dude. That's a creep move. 
Oh yeah, no, she's your waitress. You're like, yo, what's your Instagram? I'm like, dude, she's at work, man. Don't be asking that. Ah, you got her MySpace. <laughs> Trying to get in that top eight, baby. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to get Shay Lisi because she already had problems with her clutch hand already. Uh, and now with that broken wrist, I think it's, uh, it's about time for a recluse clutch on that Harley Davidson. And recluse does actually make the auto clutches for sportsters. Now you can still use the clutch like a regular clutch, but you don't have to pull it in at stoplights, which is pretty nice. Well, especially for Shay Lisi and especially for a bike like the Sportster, which really doesn't like to go into neutral. time for a little adventure <laughs> like any good adventure it begins at the stab and grab with some fresh backwood guts right on the ground outside it's freaking morning time dude on the way into work you ain't got no time you got to pull them guts out and roll up on your way in baby oh that ain't no mystery i don't know what kind of gas mileage this thing is gonna get so i want to any yeah anything more than a few miles so i have no idea either way 100 miles we'll both be probably turning on a reserve by the time we get there this will also be the first test to see if this stuff actually stays fine in here or if the exhaust makes it boil over oh well, i mean hopefully it doesn't that's why i put this exhaust tip on it first time taking the big board kit on the highway i'm very curious to see what kind of gas mileage i get almost as curious to see if my exhaust melts my gas can and makes it just like throws burning hot gas all over the highway uh, hopefully she at least he gets out of the way in time on the road baby really perilous question is how good is my suspension over 70 miles an hour because this bike wouldn't do more than like 75 before now i assume it's capable of triple digit speeds but i don't know how my suspension being the fact that i'm literally like four inches taller than stock three or four inches taller than stock i have no idea how it's gonna react so maybe we kind of keep it at 75 and under and it's just so weird to think that this motor underneath me, and I've, I've had this before, especially with my two-stroke, after I rebuilt it and I started racing it. It's just so weird to know that I've had this entire motor apart in my hands, like the pistons that are flying up and down right now, faster than the speed of sight, has set thousands of revolutions per minute. I put that together. That's a very odd feeling. That is something that both makes you very satisfied to ride your machine and also uh, ever, ever so slightly trepidatious when you're me when I'm going like, uh, fingers crossed, I guess. Side by side. They used to be pretty mismatched and they are still very mismatched. That's a lowered Sportster built for speed, looks, chrome. It just is a, I really love the Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin. Such an awesome looking bike. And uh, yeah, a lot of people might like mine more because it's now a Swiss Army knife of motorcycles. You know, it's pretty much a do everything, do anything. Not very good looking, but it'll get the job done. But a little closer to that one now because now this one's making even more horsepower than that one is i love everybody's guesses on the horsepower numbers when i was saying i'm hoping to make 100 horsepower there was people who were like no freaking way but they had such specific horsepower numbers they were like it's gonna make uh 77.8.523 i'm like yo dude i don't know how you got that specific down to like pi down to 3.14 down to the decimal but Maybe you know something I don't know. Either way, I'm still hoping for 100 horsepower, but we'll see what happens. We are headed out to Blockhead's garage right now where there is a dyno. This thing hasn't even gone past the break-in mileage right now, and it's still not going to be past the break-in mileage when we go to Blockhead's garage and back home. So I'm going to go ahead and wait till it can absolutely be revved to the max before I put it on a dyno. And maybe it will only make 76 and a half business horsepower. We'll see. Either way, it's a big upgrade. Of course, before I start talking about all the horsepower it's going to make, let's go ahead and see if my engine build survives a 250 mile round trip between our house and Blockhead's garage. Just pulled up behind us, Shep of the Pocket Beer and David Tyler himself on the Kawasaki Concourse. Now we got a group, man. Honda Goldwings, Harley Davidson Sportsters, and the Cowie Concourse. Yeah, just how we like it. A little bit weird. Well, my phone died and I don't know where I am. As per usual, there's three people following me right now who have absolutely no idea that I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. At least no one will feel like things are unfamiliar. That's all right though, because I just hit reserve with 87 miles on the clock. So definitely, definitely not doing the kind of mileage I was doing with just an 883, but that's to be expected. This thing has a lot 
bigger jets in it to move them pistons around. And we've been doing 70-75 the entire way, which is not where this thing gets its best gas mileage. It's definitely a, a 55 and under for optimum gas mileage here. Gas can is unmelted. Not even warm. Not even warm. Love it. Before I forget, let's turn this off a of reserve. Mistake I have made way too many times. The little black boxes back in action, baby. Everyone likes to talk shit about the black mirror, but cell phones and maps have made my life so much easier, I can't even explain it. Maybe too easy. Right, well, up here at Blockhead Garage with, of course, her two wheels. Dave and Cindy, my man Chef over there, sunning himself on a on a gold wing like a lizard. When you're from Indiana, you take all the sunshine you can get. Jay Lisi's in there somewhere on her first ride, or actually that's probably the farthest she's ever been on her sports dirt. Got some awesome stuff done, talked about a lot of really cool stuff. Amazing things coming up for Forgotten Angels. When I say amazing things for Forgotten Angels, what that really means is amazing things for the people that Forgotten Angels helps. That's what I really mean by that. Anyway, we're starving, let's go eat. Yeah, her two wheels was supposed to come hang out with us in Tampa, you got sunburnt fishing. Did you do any catching or just stand out there with a piece of, with a stick? So you didn't go fishing, you just sat around with a stick. You should have brought Dave Tyler with you. Well, you got drunk, that part sounds fun. Jesus, all these bikes are so rude. Got blockhead rolling out, no lid. People keep trying to say we're influencers, but all we are is bad influencers. Now we got old blockhead riding without a helmet on the Green Goblin. Baby, one of us, one of us, one of us. I still don't even know what kind of motorcycle Shay's on. MT-07, nine? Who's to say? Feels good, man. I love playing bike swap. Blockheads on the Green Goblin, Shay's on whatever that bike is. Looks like a Transformer. We got her two wheels on Gold Silla. Blockhead's taking us to one of his favorite spots, the Swamp House. Sounds like it's right up my alley. In fact, if it's the same Swamp House I'm thinking of, and I think it is, I remember going there with a bunch of people, her two wheels, Blockhead, Bagger Bro, and probably like five other people, and I ended up picking up the entire check. You know, I just wanted to treat all my friends, so I paid the whole bill for everybody and everybody said no 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 please let us pay and i kid you not every person there must have had a hundred dollar bill in their pocket and they all pulled out a hundred dollar bill after i'd already paid for the meal so i went ahead and said hey if you guys are already planning on spending that hundred bucks why don't you give it to the waitress and so that waitress had a great night if you've never had a fresh pork rinds you are missing out baby dude that is the is it actually made out of pig yeah is it pig skin uh -huh. yeah Oh my God, are you serious? Yeah. Have some. No. Please, cause I can't, yeah, look how much stuff I got. Delicious. Yeah, use the use stuff. I'm going bacon the jam stuff. or something. The stuff. Yeah, the, the stuff. stuff. You ever saw that movie, The Stuff, here? Dude, tell me that it ain't good. <laughs> Fresh pork rinds are the business. Dave, you want one of these, man? Pile of peel and eats with the dookie still inside. That's the only way to get them. Crab dips and pork rinds. You can't have just one thing, man. All these suckers out here just got one thing. I like to have a lot of flavors. <laughs> I'm playing 4D chess in the, like your in the year 3023. Yeah, no, one of each. How can I limit myself to one woman? I wouldn't want to do that to the, to the fair sex. Sounds like an awful thing to put them through. <laughs> they should all get a taste. You know, I finally figured out her two wheels. You know, I absolutely have. She has big adult only 55 up retirement home community oh, energy. You have figured it out. <laughs> Dude, to be honest, I love it, man. I finally figured Blockhead out. He has main character syndrome, but he can't help himself from being an NPC. It's all right, man. It's my world, but you're more than welcome to live here. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to you happy to be here? Like you have a choice? All right, man. We'll be happy if you want to. That's, that's nice. No, I'm just kidding. Love all you guys. Seriously, come here, you bastard. But I'm the sun because you guys orbit around me. See, I've taught you well. You, I actually do really like this place. That was a lot of fun. The food is great. Any place has got fresh pork rinds on the menu, that's a place after my own heart. Pretty damn cool, man. Of course, I've been on longer ones on this, but not with the 1250. So far, so good, baby. It's only 250 miles. It ain't like we're going far, but still, you gotta mark those victories down when they come. All right, well, we're all on the side of the road because I've got a flat rear tire. So I'm gonna try to limp it to the exit and we'll pick it up from there. Maybe, we'll see. Riding a bike with a flat rear tire. Not the easiest thing in the world, but a lot easier than riding a bike with a, with a flat front tire. So we'll go ahead and look at the bright side. Feels a lot like riding in mud, which I hate. Give me sand any day of the week. At least saying you can throttle out. I guess you probably could in mud too. You just need more skill than I have.
crashing through the sky comes a fearful cry. Shade tree. Army. Shade tree. Army. Armies of the night. Evil taking flight. Shade tree. Army. Shade tree. Army. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Panic spreading far and wide. Can the world oppose the deadliest of foes? Shade tree, army. Shade tree, army. Who will risk it all to end the evil call of shade tree, army? Shade tree, army. They never give up. They never say die. Walking tall with banners high. Shade Tree Army, a ruthless gang of scum, villains, freaks, and bikers determined to rule the world.